Well, this is Larry's camp. <laughs> As I fall on my face. <laughs> Caution, rocks. They get wet and they're slippery. Cut. This is a tiny little creek that you can find between Larry's Camp and Lulan Lake here in the Johnston's Canyon Valley. A lot, a lot of vegetation and wildlife in here. This is a gorgeous little spot that we found, decided to have lunch here to get some fresh water and also to enjoy all the luscious greens that are growing around here. But on this video today, if you want to see places like this, I'm going to be showing you guys Larry's Camp and Johnson's Canyon Creek Camp and Lulan Camp. These are three camps that you can come all the way up, enjoy some backpacking, and enjoy some creeks, some ink pots, and some waterfalls, and all the way at the back of Lulan Lake. You can do some fishing there if you get your license. There's a lot of stuff you can enjoy here. And this is just the start where you can go from Johnson Canyon all the way up to the ski resort in Lake Louise. So follow me and we're gonna show you guys what Larry's Camp, Johnson's Canyon Creek Camp, and Lulan Camp look like. This is the gorgeous little creek that comes down from Mystic Pass at the far back. And not too far from here, just ahead, is where it's going to meet up with Johnson Creek. Why is this place so special? Because right in behind, that's where Larry's Camp is. The actual place where you store your food and place where you would have a campfire and cook your food is right in behind me. So just above where that green grass is at the back, that's the lower level and there's actually six bear lockers there. And then there's actually a little higher level. It's a little bit reminiscent of the Astoria camp in Tonquin Valley. And then you go up a little trail that goes up to another little flat spot where there's four more bear lockers there and there's a picnic table that's there. And if you keep going, then you're gonna reach the actual main trail and that's where the 10 different campsites are. There's a lot of benefits on this camp here strategically because you can use this to go to Mystic Pass or to do this big loop if you wanted to and it seems like this area has like three big valleys that go upwards with camps throughout and there's multiple passes that kind of run over to the other side. Mystic Pass is one of them and if you go further north there's Badger Pass that kind of does the same thing. So we're staying one night here at Larry's Camp and tomorrow we'll be heading out to Lulan Lake 
So we just came to grab some water and we just finished eating supper and we're gonna be getting ready for a good night's sleep here at Larry's camp. See you guys tomorrow. We'll hit back on the trail. Peace out. This is the great little Johnson Creek, and we're standing right beside the Johnson Creek campground, right at the food area where the bear lockers, picnic table, and your fire pit is. You go down five meters, and this is what you're greeted with, an easy water source to get access to. I don't know why it's not more popular. Maybe because Luland Lake is only a kilometer west of here. If you're trying to book reservations and you can't get to Luland Lake, this is a great second option. You may not even want to go all the way up to Lulin Lake and back. Maybe you want to just camp here and go check out Lulin Lake and then come back. And that way there's two less kilometers you have to carry around your backpack. So this site only has five tent pads. My preferred one was actually number five where you have to go past three and four all the way to the back. Most perfect little backcountry sites I've seen in a long time. Go check out number five. That's definitely the one to have. Or if you like being close to the water, then definitely number one or number three is the closest. Come down the river all the way 200 meters or so before you hit the kitchen area and your bear bins. So we're going to hit back on the road and we're going to go check out Lulin Lake, show you guys what that campground looks like. And now I'm going to go check to see if my coffee's ready. See you later, guys. This is the most famous and sought after Lulin Camp. This is pretty much the one that gets booked out 
the quickest and the earliest of all the other camps. I can see why. Got this gorgeous view of the lake and the entire form at the back. You can see the two head walls at the very front. When you get to the camp, you're welcomed by a couple signs. Then there's the bear lockers right there and you don't have to walk very far. And you got a bunch of benches, picnic table, and everything you need to do your, your food and cooking here. This is very, very reminiscent of Taylor Lake. Even the form at the back, there's even lakes back there. I don't know if there's a trail that goes to that lake. So this campground has five sites with the six bear lockers and all the sites are all further back towards the lake. You'll see that orange sign in behind me there. There's one at the other side of the lake and you're not allowed to fish on the inside portion of these two orange markers. But definitely if you're coming up the Johnson Creek Valley, this is definitely the gem campground you want to stay in. Proximity of the campground to your your cooking facilities it's close by it's on the shore you get the views and it's well positioned as well being about 17 kilometers away from the johnson canyon it's a good distance away well i hope that this video helps you guys decide where you guys want to stay at the campgrounds here when you come hiking at the johnson canyon Well, this is the Little Lake. And I'm Eric Travelite. These are my adventures. Peace out.